Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake, you're here for another reaction. And today, I am reacting to The Rings of Power, episode 5. 5, there we go. Where we left last time was that they, uh, well, we found, well, we discovered obviously the dwarves were, um, were hiding the Mithril. Uh, but you know, Elrond proved himself to Durin that he's actually his friend, and he just does, and he promised him on the mountain, which I think will come and bite him in the arse. Durin also gave him a bit of mithril, which I feel like um, Elrond's. Uh, oh God, I can't remember. Prin uh, no, Lord. Uh, I'll get this. Hold on, Lord. Come on, guys. Come on. No one. Yeah, Lord. What's his face? Um, yeah, he. Um, I feel like the, he's going to find a Mithril and then be like, oh, this this is what they've got, eh? And then it's going to affect Elrond and uh, um, Dur uh, uh, Prince Durin's um, relationship. Um, so that went with that. Uh, as for um, Theo, is still has still has the blade and it's the blade of Sauron or something. And this there's your man that was in like in charge of the bar slash pub slash food place whatever he's actually a servant of Sauron just waiting for him to rise and um yeah so there's that but then he was almost got uh, Theo was almost got caught with the sword and then uh yeah then you know uh then what's his face came along uh Arondir Arondir yeah Arondir yeah he pulled off some badass stuff to be honest um but yeah, that bit was, yeah, so that happened. And then uh, now they're all sort of like in that tower. And now you know that, um, what's his face? Arda, Arda, I believe his name is Arda, yeah. He is going to march on the tower probably and try and get that um, sword handle, hilt. Can't remember what it is exactly, uh, what you'd call it. But there's that, they're marching on that more than likely, all the orcs. And as for... Uh, Galadriel, she has convinced the people of oh good lord um it is called Numenor Numenor there we go she has convinced the queen well the supplement queen the woman that's in charge because her father's ill in the tower they've she's convinced them well convinced them only because by leaving actually no she didn't convince them the tree convinced them that they need to go on and march onto the Southlands and help uh, defeat the Orcs and Sauron. So there's that. So that was a not. It was a good ending. I feel like the direction of that where they are is going somewhere now. We feel a like direction of uh, what Erda wants is now going in this direction towards the tower and the tower just trying to survive. And we still don't necessarily know what. Um, obviously, we know about the Mithril, but. What is... They haven't really got a plan. They just want to hide it, I guess. But then again, what is Lord... What's-his-face? Oh, God, I'm so annoyed. What's Lord What's-his-face got planned as well? So, uh, yeah. So that's um, that's where we're at. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. Uh, hopefully some more things answered. There's some more badass moments. I want to see some more creatures. I want to see some more fighting. Yeah, I want. I want to... Yeah, I want that. Uh, but other than that guys I, th I think I'm going to jump into this so uh, I hope I enjoy this episode I hope you enjoy this reaction if you do drop a like uh, subscribe to the channel that'd be great but other than that I'll see you on the other side my great thumb oh my great okay <laughs> it must be so hard to try to explain well he doesn't even know what dead is that's what I mean it must be so hard to explain Oh, fireflies. <laughs> Come on, it's just fireflies, right? <laughs> don't, look, don't look at the giant. <laughs> He's, what's he going to say, no? How did they end up in there? That's ridiculous. This is a really lovely scene. Very nice scene. He's a werewolf. <gasps> Who the fuck are you? Yep. There's the real Slim Shady. And with it, he parted me and the 
this world as well. So you literally just want to bring darkness all over this land. I know I'm not the king you have awaited. Uh, but if you choose to she okay. She, okay. Does she even know how to fight? I can't remember. Oh, here he is. Oh, you poisonous. Oh, oh. He is. What are you doing? He's poisonous, and and he's the character that I want to say, but I know what I'm going to say is the wrong one. Um. Because uh, it's a, definitely a character f from Harry Potter. What I'm gonna say. So I know, but I know I've. It's there. It's it's there, and it's annoying me because all I keep on going through is a Harry Potter character. But he's poisonous, and I hate him. Me, you poisonous shithead! Ah, oh, gone. Get manipulated then. Gone. Ah, oh, say manipulated. They just don't want to die. Speak? Nope. Nope, you pissed him off. Worm tongue. <sighs> Worm tongue. You belong to the sea god? You know I'm twice the same. Do you belong to the sea god? <laughs> nope. Idiot. The queen's god. But you had your chance. Ooh. And you made your choice. Ooh. It's heartbreaking, that isn't it? Why is he stopping her? Why was he stopping her? As in, not him, the other bloke. Okay. Okay. This manipulation from her. Ooh, how foreboding. Sinister. Oh, it's just them. I'm certain your fellowship will prove just as enjoyable. <gasps> fellowship! <gasps> Never occurred to me you'd hand me over. <laughs> <laughs> you... Well, you just fucked her over, mate. I have just... And place a crown upon your head. Yeah, show her some fucking respect. I never begged a crown. Boo! Coward. Boo this man! Oh, what dastardly creature is going to pop out for the for the giant to mess up? Oh, here we go. Is it a wolf from before? Wolves. Why don't he's responsible, isn't he? The big fella. Oh, shut up, you yeah, fucking... Take their wheels and leave them. Ah, this bitch! I want, I want her head on a fucking... Stick slash pike slash whatever. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, you're an ugly looking wolf. That's it! That's it! Oh, you're amazing. Oh, sh Ooh. That's it, fuck off. You big old puffy! Oh, is she gonna go in there and fuck him up? Come at me. We will see who Here we go. Flesh. And you're done. Fuck off. Next. Oh my god, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's a Sildor. It's a Sildor who thinks, you know. Is he. Is he I mean, maybe he could. We'll have to see. Oh my god, three phobias? <laughs> She's nuts. Do you know what? The uh, sparing in this, oh great stuff, is a lot more, um, oh god you're great. It's a lot more, um, it's not the others are waiting because she sort of has the back, like the others, they're sort of like, you know when you need to get in things when they're fighting each other, they're sort of like, huh, 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 and then the others sort of waiting behind, She's doing, they're doing, it's doing good in this where they're doing quick movement. So by the time the other sort of turn and face, she's already doing the rest of her lesson to like carry on. And then they go rather than be sort of like a, she says doing this, that, this, that, this, that. And then the other people in the background are just like, 
and way all way and no you know so it's i like it it's fluid oh who did it well Lieutenant. <laughs> hey good man Folly to try and stop a war. the war's coming gobshite because my father would sooner die than take orders from an elf oh he's he's ignorant he ignorant mm. Who are you calling ignorant? This bitch is sinister. Elves will take orders from us. From my cousin. Oh. For oh. I hate your beard now. I go to war for mm. We are doing now. I thought this guy was on his deathbed and now he's out. He's Grandpa Joe. Restoring our connection with the elves. Well, there's a wage in the bed. Death. Say death. Dare you say death. Ah, boo! That's it. He's he's healing his. Oh my God! What what is he doing? He's used the ice to. It's all bruised and swollen. I'm guessing. It... What are you doing? Oh my God! She's got thrown again. What's happened? What's happened to her? Task the same of Lyndon. <laughs> Shipping all its warriors, expanding its cities. That's it. Deflect. Bit southern for elf. Typically takes you people weeks just to decide to take a ship. <laughs> the hand of time. Peoples, then. To the union. To the you to the revolution. To your union. To the union. To the revolution. What's going on here? What are you doing? Oh my god, this is cool. Ooh! <gasps> Balrog! Hello! Oh, you're a good man. Oh, so it's that black, um... Black, uh... Can't remember what's called now. Black speech, isn't it? Say no. Say no. Gotta say no, right? Preventing that is not reason enough to make you reconsider. He, your you home. manipulative little. I suggest you. <laughs> You're a good man. Don't do it, Arond. I thought he was going to find that, but he didn't. He's, he's just see, he's just sort out the info from him just from looking at his face. Ah, ah, you fucking cockcock. Mm-hmm. He's 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 <laughs> no, no, no of course. <laughs> five. Ask for five. Yes, three, okay. That was a good combo. Oh, he didn't sacrifice that ring, did he? Oh shit, his horse is going. Oh, you absolute savages. No, he's... Well, no, he's definitely going. Oh, this prick. <laughs> so he's just caught you nearly burning down the place. You can't, you can't get away with this now. This is what's going to get him aboard the boat. If he can stop it. No, he can't stop it. Shit, this is getting him aboard the boat. <laughs> Saving this kid will get him aboard the boat. Here you go. I'm forced to disagree with the elf. Of course you are, you villain. You know what? His eyebrows went from cool to very menacing. Lord Halbrand attends. Ooh. Ooh, is he going to? He he probably will. The way the, uh, this story goes, he'll turn up. Oh, uh, yeah, see? See? To allow you into our confidence from the start. Betray a friend. Oh, is this going to be the reason why they say nobody trusts an elf? Oh, because he was the only one who could do it. Oh, use his father against them. He's going to betray the shit out of Durin now. Men like you, not you yourself. Oh, because you're different. She likes you, buddy. In a friend way? Who knows? 
Here's the idiots. Come on. Enslave them. We must first touch the duck. Ooh, that's a good one. That's good. That is good. Come on. Stop being a fanny. Let's do this. No lasting peace in any path but that which lies across the sea. Dude, how are you not pumped up for this? Come on, she's got me jacked up. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, please. Please, kill him. Kill him. Yes. Here we go. Oh, sh oh what? I don't want this. He's going to stab the shit out of you, kid. Bastards! He's a he's a glass half full kind of person. There's something you don't know. That I'm a shithead. Yeah, we know. Battle the enemy, and you take away everything. She's going to bow. What are you doing? Why? Your people have work. What? They're gonna. What are they gonna do with the terror? Put push it on them? I've missed things like this. This is good. I like this. <laughs> this has been haunting me people for years, so. <laughs> Cheeky fucking bastard. <laughs> the fate of the entire elven race <laughs> is That is powerful. Whose hands? <laughs> Don't thank me yet. Thank he has to talk to his dad. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> They're best friends. Yes. Fuck you. Don't ruin their friendship. Oh. Well, that's foreboding. That's something. You're not ending there. Oh, fucking prick. <laughs> oh, look at you. Magnificent. Oh, shit, he didn't even say goodbye to his sister. Isildur, I mean. Oh, it... oh, this is hitting nicely. <laughs> Bastards. All three of us now cuddle. Hug each other. <laughs> yes! Get the other one in! Hug him as well! Oh my god, look at her. Where'd she get this out? Where'd she get all this fucking outfit from? Oh, you're just a bunch of handsome people. Oh, the best mates slash lovers slash I don't know. I love it. Oh my god, this looks great. It sounds great. Oh yeah, that, yeah. End of there. That was quality. Yeah. And that, guys, was my reaction to The Rings of Power episode 5. Had to check there again. Um, It's picking up. It's still picking up. It's still, but, like, listen, at the end of the last episode, I was jacked up for it. And now, at the end of this episode, again, even though it's they decided to go to Middle Earth episode. And this episode, at the end, they've just decided. They don't no, have decided. They're now on their way to Middle Earth. It's like, mm, 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 let's go. Let's go. Like, I mean, the stuff outside of this, though, is still a little bit slow for me. Still a little bit lackluster. A little bit. Not much. I'm not I'm not here going like, shitting all, I'm shitting all over it. But I just want more from it, I guess. And maybe they're focusing on this part of the story first, and then they'll focus on the other parts of it later on. But, ah, yeah, I don't know. But I'll just go through my notes quickly. Um, the whole thing's with the Harefoots at the start. I thought that was a lovely opening with the with the song uh, and uh, them going like for, oh, through all the different sort of climates and stuff like that, all the other troubles of them going on their journey. I thought that was lovely. That fit well in for me with, just in general, with how... It just shows like the vast journeys across 
the land in all the other films, but then also the times when they've integrated the music in which they sing along with like cutting and into the first one that came to my mind was in the third one when um when uh Pippin is uh singing um is uh, singing uh to Shu de Gondor uh whilst uh <laughs> whilst Faramir rides into death. So that's what I was reminded of was intercutting the music and then showing that going that's what I felt like that's remind me of I wouldn't say it's exactly as far from that as in like what it was, but that's what remind me of. Um Slim Shady. All we got was a little bit of Slim Shady. That was it. Slim Shady found the meteorite, aka the giant, where he well well where he fell, and that that was it. So I got Slim Shady is out and about now. I will continue to call that person Slim Shady until I know their actual name. Um I wrote down worm tongue like bastard and obviously we then got at the end him being his actual self and I'm annoyed that he decided to be the one like is it there Erda decided to be like no you have to join us you have to kill and of course he's got to do it isn't he he's 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 definitely sacrificing that kid for his own life so there's that so I kind of wish something worse happened him I thought Erda was going to fuck him up but he didn't so we're just going to have to deal with that with that and I you know, just just hope that he eventually, if the next scene isn't the fact that next time we see them is that he does like yeah, it turned out that Erda then struck him there before we killed the kid, or we eventually see him getting his uh, what he deserves, which you know he's just a slimy little bastard. Um, <laughs> I like that Sildor was how it was fine, and it very it was very much a struggle for him to get onto this boat. I knew, I knew eventually he would. We, we, well, I'm guessing everyone knew what he was. Anyone who thought he was getting on that boat is, is a gobshite. But it was his dad was like, hmm, no, look at all these people. They've earned this spot. You haven't. Then all his friends were like, no, you didn't earn this spot. What do you want me to do? Just let you now come aboard. It's better you're better off. And then eventually, well, him coming across that whoop, that weird, that kid, I can't remember his name. I'm, I actually haven't written it down. But him burning on the boat, saving him, and then automatically it was like, they both lied and backed each other. Like, okay. And then, obviously, that I was there thinking, like, how is he... Even though I knew that was what getting one on the boat, I was actually thinking, like, how has he got this, like, sort of armour and suit? Like, he's actually gone in there. But him actually being the in the horse stables, sweeping up the crap and stuff like that, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, he will get his chance. He will get his time. But, um, yeah. Now, talk about Halbran. Him... I like the fact that he was in there. He, he's a he's a uh, blacksmith. I like the fact that he was doing all the uh, weapons and stuff like that. That's great. But him saying he's going to relinquish his crown and then sort of then get like him just be like, nah, I'm not about it. No, no chance. But you knew it was going to happen. But even but to be fair, that little bit where you put his uh, thing around his neck, that on the table, I was there like, I was I was there thinking he's put it down. And I want literally as he's put it down. I was there thinking like he's he will eventually come back to that later on. I didn't expect him literally to come back and grab it, but his turnaround. It took for him to have a little chat with Gladriel to find out what she's about, what she thinks he needs to do, all that stuff to then realize. Oh yeah, I probably should need to do this. So, I think that he's on the right track. He looks great in his armor. Um, him and Gladriel as well. I've mentioned it every single time. I think every episode is that it's like. I can't work it out. They're both badass. They're both sexy. Do I want them to be interested in each other romantically? Or do I just want them to be, we're badass friends. We've got each other's backs here. Let's move on. That's what I'm, I think I'm more inclined to that. But if they were to then kiss or fook, I think I'd be okay with that as well. But I think I'd prefer them to be badass friends. Um, Yeah. Because that's why you think I you sometimes need to, I, I think we, I fall in the trap sometimes, to judge by every episode, when they sort of like get a little bit close, I'm like, oh my god, Kith. And they're not. It's because in these sort of in these sort of like shows, it's very much sort of like a oh, this this is a camaraderie. This is sort of oh, yeah, yeah, we're in each other's faces to spur each other on. So I need to sort of stop myself from maybe saying these things, but you know, I'm still going to. Because what if eventually they do and I don't call it off fucking kill no kick myself i won't kill myself no chance um 
Yeah, the giant stopping the wolves. That was great. I think I expected a little bit more, as in, like, of a fight. But the fact it was, it was like, he pushed him away, saw he was surrounded, and then, bam, fuck them up. That's it. Then that's what we were waiting for, him to prove to the Harefoots that he is, everyone can trust him now. He's he's protected them. Like, he's a good man. That's that's what they needed. But obviously then something ends up happening when he's healing himself at eyes. Listen, Nori's a gobshite for doing it. Obviously she's trying to save him. But she's a gobshite for fucking doing what she thinks. It's just, oh, Come on. He's obviously doing something that he knows. What are you getting involved in? But then oh, something's happened. She's seen that. I think I, th- I think it was that. She then sort of seen the, the uh, visions of him in the crater and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I guess. Um, I guess. Maybe something passed to her. She saw something or she's sure what it actually might be about. Or I'm not I actually am not certain at all what she saw, but. Or she's just like a little bit frightened of him. Like now everyone trusts him, and then Nora's like, "No, he's he's a bit of a savage. He he he, he attacked me." And it's like, "Well, so we'll have to see how that goes." But him with the wolves, and then him with the wolves was great. That little punch down, and then Nori just having to get away. Galadriel, I just get more and more impressed every time I see her. That scene with all the lads, like I said during it, is that it points because it was supposed to be sparing, so they weren't necessarily coming in like. From behind all the time they were waiting for the lessons to be taught and then they would jump. But, but then there was points where they were all trying to get in when it was pair. Oh, right, cool. Let's try and gang up on her now. Uh, but she she was great. She she did so well. I, I thought, she, yeah, I, that was so cool. Every I want to see more of that. It's just badass. So fucking badass. Um, yeah. Uh, I wrote down orders from an elf. That's from... Uh, Oh, God, I can't remember his name. Uh, that's from Muriel, who's the queen. That's from her cousin, who is the bearded man who I thought was majestic looking as hell, but now everything's sinister. That's that's a dark beard. Those eye, eyebrows mean a lot more menacing stuff now. He's, he's failed in trying to get them to um, not go, so they will... But, like, now we have to watch it. I don't know if he's with them. I didn't see him if he was going well. Maybe he's going to, like, fuck up, like, the power play, like, back in, you know, uh, when they come back, they might be like, oh, no, he's in charge now. And it's like, who who knows? Oh, if he's going with them, he might try to undermine the entire way. But (sighs) sinister now. Unless he can redeem himself, like, he sees the way, and then he's like, no, we need to go fight. Yeah, sure. But I don't know if he'd go with them. Who knows? Um... I wrote down Frosty Arm. Yep, that's done. The whole thing with the dwarf table was great. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, that, that was that just to sort of just un, yeah, just to because he thought it was fun. I thought it was great. Um, the L, I wrote elves want tree power, which obviously means that he wants to like make them go into eternity. Pretty much, they want that. Uh, on that light. Whether it goes well or not, we'll have to see. they like elves are as much as they are trying to be kind spirited. Um, uh, one with the world and the sea and the sky uh, and stuff like that they're deceitful as well because they want to be able to get what they want and that's what they want now we'll have to see whether it goes well whether if it get more than likely Durin's father will more than likely may put up a fight we'll have to see how the elves react and there's a chance those fuckers might attack or try to sneak from within, it, within to get it so we'll have to see um yeah, I wrote saves Erson, bitch. What what happens to him? He sort of obviously he's just the son of you know bearded, bearded uh, yeah bearded bastard. That's what I'm. So he's yeah he's non bearded bastard and 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 he's sort of been flirting with a sealed door sister and then then he's out there burning stuff. They're not it's 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 there's no real stakes to that character unless we now see what happens behind the scenes whilst they're gone. But it's just like, just a bit of a weasley bastard. Couldn't even blow up all the ships. He just did one. Um, Arondir and Theo, their little, their little talk. It was like, yeah, you found it at 14, but did he? Bit of a prick, isn't he, that Theo? I still don't... Ugh. I don't know. It's a teenager, I get that, but still, ugh. But yeah, Arondir then having a, a, a talk with him and then finding... He's showing his sword, shows a statue, and then... Obviously, then, um, 
Her name is uh, Bronwyn. Yeah, Bronwyn. Um, yeah, Bronwyn obviously then is like, we must go. We must, we have to be, we, we're always meant to be like this. We're always meant to be in state for the darkness. It's just what we do. We join them. And then obviously there's the thought of like, oh, something to do with terror. So maybe they push the terror down on top of them, blow it up, lure them in. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but again, I, f I, f I want this something a little bit more from that now. Now, the problem is that they're now pushing on a terror with only probably about, may definitely a Rondir, but maybe a few more badass people in there to fight against the orcs. And it's like, I don't think I'm going to get the battle that I want from there. So it probably will just be a strategic thing where they push the terror down or blow it up or something. So. We'll have, we'll have to see, but, but like, yeah, that's I want. I expect a little bit much more than from that. I expected a little bit more from the Harefoots, unless now because they're sailing to Middle Earth, um, from Numen uh, Numenor, Numenor it is Numenor, yeah, um, that maybe then that might be put a little bit on the back burner just to show like maybe one or two small scenes, and then we can then focus on the others going forward. Now we'll have to see, but um, yeah, that whole bit with the March of the Orcs though, the music, the chanting. Everything, the panning up during the darkness. Oh, so good. <laughs> That's that was that was pure Lord of the Rings there, and I enjoyed that. It. I think I actually might shit myself, uh, in a good way, if there is a good way. If I hear a do 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 any anything like that, or or anything to do with just. From the original trilogy. That's the first one that came to my head. But I mean, if any music from the original trilogy somehow sneaks its way into this series, I'm I'm probably going to cry and shit myself. It'll be, it's coming out all ends here with me. Um, so, yeah. I wrote down best friends. Because <laughs> they are best friends. Elrond and um, Durin. So, we'll have to, again, like I said, we'll have to see how it works out for them. Obviously, the king, the elven king was looking over them. He's sinister. I think Durin, uh, Durin Senior might be a little bit not sinister but stubborn, maybe sinister as well. But we'll have to we'll have to see about that. Um But I hope I hope that throughout it they can keep something between them, as in Durin and Elrond, and it's not gonna be completely broken. That's that's the hope at least. I did enjoy the comment though. I want uh <laughs> I want your missus to think the tables from me. That was great. And then onward to Middle Earth. That whole that whole scene with all the all the boats and the music and the uniforms and the panning out showing them on an ocean. Oh, yeah, get you jacked up. Now I don't know how the next episode's gonna get me jacked up right at the end, but that's two episodes in a row where I'm like, oh, no, great, let's get back into this. But overall, the where they've left me right now is looking forward to the next episode. Whether they can keep that up now, because like I said, I felt like I didn't think it was boring. But I felt like it needed to go in a certain direction. And now we're going in that direction. Now we just need to keep that consistency. And maybe then get you just as jacked up for the other story lines that are going on. I don't know. That, that's that's me personally. But either way, I'm happy with this episode. And I'm looking forward to the next one. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. So uh, if you like this video, please like the video. Comment down below what you thought of this episode. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of comment down below. Maybe do you want uh, Halbrand and... Uh, Galadriel to be friends or or lovers, uh, yeah. To who's Slim Shady? Can I, yeah, can a real Slim Shady please stand up? Things like that. Yeah, I had to put that in there. Um, yeah, and uh, things like that. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought in general as well. Uh, if you like these types of video, please subscribe to the channel. There's a bunch of other videos around here to with me and other people. Uh, take a fan, uh, take a look around. Might be something to take a fancy. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I, time I upload. But other than that, guys, right? I'll see you out there.